I'm Mrs. Lemoyne, and today we'll be doing illustrative math, grade five, unit one, lesson three, volumes of prison drawings. Today's goal is to use layers to find volume. So we're going to start with our warm up, which is a number talk. So in class, when I'm doing a number talk, we raise our hands to our chests when we know the answer. We give us our, a thumbs up. If you know two ways to solve the problem, you can give me two fingers or three or four if you have three or four ways. So we'll start with the first one. Should be pretty easy. Six times four. Well, I know that six groups of four is 24. Next, we have three times two times four. Well, I can see that three times two is six, and six times four is the same as our first problem, 24. Our next problem is three times two times five. Hmm, I'm seeing a pattern here. Three times two again is six, and six times five is six more than 24, 30. And our last problem, three times two times six. Again, three times two is six, and six times six is 36. Or I can think of it as one more group of six than five, so 36. So here is a pattern. I started out with a fact. They broke that up into factors. And then each time I multiply, I'm adding one more group of six. One more group of six. So just a little warm up there to get us thinking about today's lesson or to think about patterns really. All right, today we're gonna build some rectangular prisms shown on cards. Before we look at the cards, what information from the images will help us to build the prism? Well, when I notice these, pris these images, I notice that if I were to build this one, let's say, I'm going to look at the top layer and I notice that there are one, two, three groups of three cubes. And I know that that means that there are going to be nine in that one layer. And then I'm going to ask myself, how many layers will it take? How many layers of nine will it take to build this whole thing? Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers of nine. So really it would take how many cubes to build that one? It would take a lot of them. Eight layers of nine cubes would be 72 cubes. If I were going to build this little bitty one, which is more reasonable, I see that in this column or group, I have three and that there would be three here and three here and three here. That's four groups of three, so I would need 12 cubes to build that one. I could have also thought of it as rows, right? So if I didn't want to think of it as columns, I could think of it in this layer or this row, I have four, and I have another row of four and another row of four. So that's one, two, three rows of four, three times four is 12. So that's how I'm going to approach these cards today and how I'm going to build each one of these uh, cards that I need to build. Now in your classroom, your teacher's only going to give you one card and it'll be given out by random. So you won't know which card you have. But for our purposes of the video, I'm going to build two or three of them. So we're going to pick a card from the stack. We're going to build the rectangular pr prism. We're going to find the volume and then we're going to explain to our partner how we found that problem, that volume, and then we're going to do another one. All right, so let's get to it. So here are my prisms, so my prism cards, I should say, and let's go ahead and build A. So when I'm looking at A, I need to decide how many cubes am I going to need to build one layer of A. Well, when I look at it, I can see that I have one, two, three, four here, and I'm going to have two rows of that four. So that means I'm going to need eight for just one layer. So let's get those eight together. 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we can start to build our prism. So here is one layer, and then here is the other. All right, now that I have that top done, I need to figure out how many of these, so that's the top, or I could say it's the bottom. How many of these will I need to make this whole prism? Looks like I'm going to need two more layers of this eight. So let's see here. There's two, four. Remember, I need eight in each layer. So, oops, you can't see what I'm doing. Let me widen the screen a little bit. So here's four, and here's another four. And I'm going to connect those to this one. And now we have two of the three layers that I can see that I need to build. So I'm going to need another layer in order to make this like the picture. So there's another four. One, two, three. And four. And there we go. We have the same picture, right, that you see oops, on the card. Get some more cubes there. That one decided to fly away. All right. Now I have the same prism that was built on the card. I have one, two, three, four, and I have two layers of that four. All right, let's choose a different card and build that one. Um, this one looks interesting. So in this one, in order to build it, I'm going to find out how many cubes I need to begin with. So I see that I have one, two, three, four in front. And I assume that I have four in the back. Take four cubes and another four cubes and build this prism. So that means I need eight all together. And it looks like there's two on the bottom. Two like that. And then we have another one. Stick those together. And we have two more. We can do one more. Let's see. Let's do F. Ooh, that one looks too big. We'll try D. All right. D looks a lot like this one, except that I have one four, two set, another set of four, another set of four, and another set of four. So I need four more. So this is the beginning of that shape. See that? I'm going to add another layer that one. So now I have three layers of the four. And then I can add my last one. Let's see if it'll go together. All right. Let's see if that's correct. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Nice. All right. So that was fun. We got to build in math class. And you can do that a couple of times depending on how much time your teacher gives you. E. How would I build this prism? Well, I'm going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and just connect them. There's nothing to go, there's no more than eight in a row. Pretty easy. So the volume of this rectangular prism would be 8. Here's A. And we built A um, as my demonstration. And it took, uh, let's see, it took 8 times 3. It took 24 cubes to build this because I had to have one layer of 8, two layers of 8, three layers of 8, and 8 times 3 is 24. So, how would you describe this prism? So, if you had to describe this to your friend, 
to draw or to, I'm sorry, to build, how would you describe it? Well, I could start with layers. That's one way to do it, right? How many are in this layer? I can see two, four, six, eight. And how many layers do I have? One, two, three, four, five. I would need five layers of eight. So that tells me how many are in each layer, but what if my friend decides that it's eight long and five layers of eight long? So I need to be a little bit more descriptive in my um, choice of words. So what I'd have to say is that I have one layer of four and another layer of four behind it, and then I have five of those layers. How many cubes would that make? Well, I know that I have eight in each layer and five layers, so eight times five is 40. So we're just investigating how these prisms look and how we could find the volume of each one. So let's see what we're gonna do today. These prisms are completely packed with unit cubes. You're going to determine the volume of each prism. So I'll give you a few minutes. You can stop the video and try to find the volume of each one. So I could go through and count the layers. Again, one, two, three, four, five layers, and each layer has two, four, six, eight. So that means this one has a volume of 40 cubes. In this prism, I have one, two, three, four, five layers, and each layer now has one, two, three, one, two, three, three, and three. Three times four is twelve, so each layer has twelve. So this time I'm going to say 5 times 12. And I know that that is 60 cubes. And then our next problem, again, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 layers. And in each layer I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4, and 4. So this row has 4. Each one of those has four, so the whole top is four times four, which is 16. If I'm having trouble multiplying 16 times five, I could say 10 times five is 50, plus six times five is 30. 50 plus 30 is 80 cubes. That way I can break up that hard math problem into its parts, right? Or if I know how to do a problem like this, I can just say five times six is 30, carry the three. Five times one is five plus three is eight. But if you didn't remember how to do that, you could always break up that 16 into 10 and six. So we have 80 cubes, we have 60 cubes, and we have 40 cubes. There are other ways you could have counted each one of those. Um, you do it the way you want to count them. This is the way that I like to count them. As long as you get the same amount of cubes each time. How does the expression 5 times 8 represent the volume of this prism? Where do you see the five groups of eight? And just like I drew on the last one, I see a group of eight here, and there are five of them. One, two, three, four, five groups of eight. So each layer is a group of eight. Eight, 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 eight. So what do all of those prisms have in common? They were all groups of five. They had different in each group, but they were all groups of five.
What do you know about finding the volume of a prism made of cubes after today's activities? Is there anything you have questions about? Well, I know that I can count layers. Oops. I can count layers to find the volume. And I have to multiply those layers by the number in each layer. Okay. Moving on. Then we're going to do our cool down. Jada's prism, prism has four layers, and each layer has nine cubes. So the first thing I have to do is find the prism that has four layers. This one has two layers, and each layer has one, two, three, four, twelve. So two layers of twelve, twelve. This one has one, two, three, four layers of three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 four layers. This one has three layers, one, two, three of nine, nine and nine. And this one has a layer of eight, a layer of eight, and a layer of eight, so that's three layers. And I'm looking for four layers of nine cubes, I think it has to be B. Now they want us to find the volume of Jada's prism. Well, if it has four layers of nine cubes each, I know that the volume has to be 36 cubes. All right, that's it for today's lesson. Thank you for listening.